One of the things I think that's a test of whether you can do live stuff is how you react when things go wrong. And I'm always reminded of that uh, quote that I read as a young man when I was first reading Dune, and Frank Herbert had that line about fear is the mind killer. If you succumb to fear, if, you, if you're one of those people, when the adrenaline hits, you kind of shut down. It, this is a tough business because the adrenaline is going to hit. Uh, to specifically answer your question, um, for me, it's it's dropping back to trying to visualize the signal flow and figure out where it could be. Because sometimes the more you get used to solving problems, the more you realize that's got to be in my video chain between this and that. There's no other place that would cause that kind of problem. That just comes from the experience of doing things. And so for me yesterday, it was the most likely thing is a loose connection. So I literally followed that track and I unplugged and replugged everything. Now, it's a little more difficult now that we have all these computer video over IP things. Now you have the circumstance where you pull out a, a USB-C that is carrying a Thunderbolt signal and the computer loses track of it. And when you plug it back in, sometimes it takes a little bit of time for that to reinitialize, to get its act back and forth done and get the signal to the monitor you're looking at. So you have to be methodical. This happened to be one of those times when literally it was the connector at the end of a USB-C line and one specific one that was feeding from a port of my computer to the ATEM Mini. And this case, it turned out to be a cable issue. And most of the people on the panel here, that's why I think we know how to fix these things is because we've been that person who goes out and tries to figure it out and track it down step by step. Algorithmic thinking, you know, which is basically the computer thing of this step, then this step, then this step, then this step, really stands you in good stead when you run into those things.